Hey guys, it's Yvette and I have a few boxes that I'm going to be opening for you guys. Um, I have eight quilting slash um, <laughs> just being crafty, um, but mostly quilting um, boxes to open for you guys. And so let's get started because it we're going to have like lots of opening boxes goodies going on in here. Uh, the first one of course is going to be stephanie stitches this is her holiday edition um valentine project box and i'm a little bit late opening this but i'm so excited because i've seen some of the finished uh products already and i i'm super excited so i want to share this with you guys um let's get this one open I haven't like on I pretty much I think on everything here I haven't opened any of the boxes at all so I'm really excited. Here it is, nice pink um, on the inside, nice pink tissue, and she's got a little page for us. It says, welcome to the Valentine edition of my project box. I love the colors of Valentine's Day. They help break up the long winter darkness and remind us that the world could use a little more love in it. The next box will be the spring edition and it will go on sale late February and will be a larger project um, that I'm very excited to bring you. Okay, so she's got her contents. I want to kind of just pull them out instead of going over that. Oh, it does say this box contains everything you need to complete the top binding and backing of your project. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is like the whole project. Um, oh my goodness, look. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So we have like a little heart candy. I'm definitely excited for that. I always like the, the candy. She's got this lovely pink spool of Orphil thread. And I think this is the 50 weight. I get it. I don't know why I get so confused. But yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that the orange spool is 50 weight. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. She's given us an endurance blade. Uh, this is a 45 millimeter. And uh, so excited about that. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, okay, and so our fabrics, we've got this lovely red, which is gorgeous. Um, and then we've got all the cuts inside. We've got this purple and a, a purple, a lighter pink. Oops. And the darker pink as well. And these are little kisses. Um, let's see. I'm sure she says it on here. Riley Blake kisses in white, peony, lipstick, lilac, and redwood. Oh, I love them. I love them. Um, and so this is actually a, uh, it's a basic for Riley Blake. So you should be able to get this like any time of the year. And then this is from Falling in Love by Riley Blake. And this is for your backing. And then, and then here's the white. You can see all those little kisses. Oh, I love it. And here is her pattern. And it is for a, a 22 inch by 40 inch table runner. And it, you guys, this picture does not do justice. I encourage you to go and look for the people who have already completed this project it is gorgeous i i mean it's gorgeous the colors the way they all go together how she put this it's it's gorgeous and she does a great job with her patterns too so all right i'm going to put this all back in here say again thank you so much um stephanie sends her boxes to me for review and I appreciate it so much, more than you know. And I'm always happy to share them with you guys. Okay, so that's our number one. Now, this one is, um, some of you may have heard of it. I had never heard of it. And I was looking for um, new 
cross stitching things that I had not seen before so that I could kind of show you guys. Um, so I got this one and it is, you go to spotyourcolors.com and it is called the ragtag box. I'm not sure why, but it is cross stitch. It's called the ragtag box and it's this cute little project. So you'll get a little project every month. And let's see what we got in this one. Okay, you open it up and it looks like so. Uh, okay, it says Ragtag Box by Spot Colors. Hi there, this month's design is a collaboration kit featuring the artwork of Victoria Wazinski of A Strange Bohemian. Check out more of her work at the Etsy link below. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so her Etsy shop is called A Strange Bohemian. And, okay, so there you go. And then here is the pattern. It says, frog around and find out. I, it's cute, though, and if you don't like the wording, I mean, it's a cross stitch. Just don't do it. But it's cute, and if you like, you know, those kinds of things, it's super cute. Look at that little frog. He's all like, somebody going to kiss me or what? <laughs> <laughs> and so you get your Ada and you get your DMC thread, which is great. And it's on the little card. So it's all separated for you and you get a needle inside as well. You get a hoop and of course you get the pattern and there you go. I mean, really that's all you need. And you have the whole project right there. And so this is like super cute. I am going to every, all of these things that I'm showing you guys, I'm going to put all of the links and the prices and all that kind of stuff down below. Okay. So that was, um, ragtag box and it's by spot colors. Okay. The next thing I have is a Liberty league box. Liberty Fabric League. And let's get this open. Okay, so here is the card inside. And um, on the other side, she tells us everything that's in the box. So I'm gonna kind of set that aside and we're gonna just check everything out. Um, when you open it up, there's all the goodies inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have um, a spool of superior threads. It's called the bottom line. I think this is the one that they use for um, the bobbin. So this would be your, your bobbin thread by superior threads. And what does it say? It's 1,420 yards and it's 60 weight, two ply polyester thread. Color number 623. Okay, very nice. Ooh, we got some sweet tarts. Sweet tart hearts. Aww. And then, oh my goodness. it's It looks like a pin cushion. I'm sure that's what that is. Let's see. Yeah, Liberty Craft Club Flower Pin Cushion. And I will take it out and show you. This is so cute. And there it is. with Made with Liberty Fabric. But it feels like quilting cotton. It's not tan alone, but it's it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. Um, and then I have the fabric, but I'm not gonna show you that yet. I'm kind of scooching it over so you can't see. I like show that to you last. Um, oh my goodness, I think we got another pair of scissors. Oh my goodness. Okay, and this is Liberty Craft Club scissors, scissors sheath with scissors. So, here it is, comes with a little sheath and lovely snips. And they're sharp, but I've had much sharp. This is not that sharp, actually. So you don't have to worry. Um, but nice and pointy. You see? Okay. Oh, I love snips. They're like my fave. Okay, and then... Okay, so this is, now we have our seasons that we're working on. I think this is probably the, um, 
the box that I just received. And I have another one that I'm going to open for you guys. And that one, um, I think, is the one for before. So, um, for the month before is what I meant. So, we've been getting these seasons, block of the month. And this is the one for month four. Um, it is Lilabel Lane Creations by Sharon Burgess. And so there is what's inside. And to go with that, she gives us these little um, packets. And oh my goodness, like all of the all of the shapes are in here. So all the shapes you need. Oh my goodness, that's amazing! Balls. That is really amazing. I'm trying to make them go all back down. Okay, so that all goes with the seasons of the month. So I'm going to pop that back inside just so I have a place to put everything. And I'll put that guy and I can move this over there. And now let's look at the fabric. Oh, let me put this in here so I don't forget. Boop. Okay, so here is the fabric. It's all wrapped up with a bow. I love how she does that. And let's open the first one. Okay. Now we get six in each pack. We get 12 every month. So here is the first one. Oh my goodness, look at that. So pretty. And then, oh, this is nice. It's kind of like a purple based in purple and a, and a little bit of pink. I love those tiny flowers. Oh, look at this one. Ooh. I'm using Liberty Fabrics right now to work on the block of the month that I'm having and piecing it real. And so I'm, I'm so excited to get like, I have so much Liberty Fabric, it's not even funny. Look how cute. That's cute. And here's the last one in this one. Oh, here we go. Okay, and then we have the second pack. And here is the first one. The darker colors do tend to kind of get washed out in the light, but you get the idea. These lighter colors look a lot better in the light. <laughs> oh, this one's cute. Again, the tiny flowers. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Can you guys hear uh, Jelly Bean snoring? He's over there snoring. Shelly Boo. And this one's got some cute little birds on it. And oh my goodness, this one sort of, it kind of looks Hawaiian to me. It's those beautiful flowers, that's what it is. A lot of cute guys. Okay. So that's all the fabric. We've got all of this stuff. I'm going to put this all in this one spot so that I have everything together. And then we're going to move to the next one. So now I've got a cotton cut to open. And let's get that sucker opened up. And of course, you look inside. There it is. And it says, make a difference every day. And Amy curated my box. So thank you, Amy. And the designer spotlight is Megan Collins. And 
Uh, it says, meet Megan Collins. Megan is a mother of three and a self-taught quilter who loves imagining and creating unique designs. She designs modern patterns, but as a history major, she is also drawn to traditional quilts and their history. It is her belief that quilts fill a home with love, and she looks to spread that love through her pattern designs. And there she is. And, of course, we get to choose one of her patterns. And she's got five on here. She's got Sun Showers, Blossom and Bloom, Love and Stitches, Star Song, and That's No Moon. So this one down here, that's, what is it? Sun Showers? That's Sun Showers. And hopefully I'm posting things for you over there, if I remember. Blossom and Bloom up here. And then Love and Stitches, Star Song. And the last one is That's No Moon. Oops, <laughs> I'm missing the whole thing. <laughs> there it is, That's No Moon. <laughs> That's super cute. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick, um, but I'll let you guys know what I decide. And so there you go, we have that to choose from. The Cotton Cuts block of the month is this guy. And you can also do the color sheet if you want. And a reminder that you can boost your delivery. Um, so if you go on their website, there is a spot where you can go and have, um, like, choose some items and then they'll pack it in the same box so you don't have to pay separate shipping. Okay. Ooh, the lanyap is candy very happy about the candy. It, these are Godiva masterpieces. It says dark ganache heart. That's really, that's really tempting right there. Okay, so here's my fabric and let me just scooch this down so I have some room. Okay, so let's get it open. The fabrics that Amy has chosen for me are in the categories of uh, batiks. There are some Bally Batiks by Hoffman Fabrics. Uh, the florals, there is some painted patchwork by Sue Zipkin for Cloth Works. There's Holiday Seasonal, which is Gnomes in Love by Tara Reed for Riley Blake Designs. There are some Juvenile and Children's, which is Bookworm by Lewis and Irene and Irene. And finally, there are some blenders, which is Sunprint Luminance by Allison Glass for Andover Fabrics. Um, okay, so let's see how I do. I'm going to pull these out. And let's see. Okay, obviously I know where that's going. I think that's going to the same spot. I know where that's going and that's going. Yep, I, that looks okay. Yep, yep. I think I'm going good, guys. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, this one I'm kind of confused on. I'm going to put that here. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I'm correct. Now, if you haven't played this little game with me before, if I, um, whatever it is I say may or may not be the truth. And whatever the truth actually is, I'm gonna put on the bottom of the screen here so you can know if I got it wrong, then what it actually is. So if you're interested in that fabric, you can go and find it. Um, so the Batiks is first. Bally Batiks by Hoffman Fabrics. I think they've given me two of the Batiks. And this is the first one. And this is the second one. Okay. Then we have the floral, which is painted patchwork by Sue Zipkin for Cloth Works. And I think they gave me two of those as well. This is the first one. And this is the second one. Fabrics feel the same, so I'm kind of confident. <laughs> 
And then the next one is Holiday Seasonal, uh, Gnomes in Love by Tara Reed for Riley Blake Designs. I think they gave me two of those as well. And this is the first one. And this is the second one. Gee, I don't know. Do those look like gnomes to you? I think I got this one right. <laughs> okay, and then the next one is the Juvenile and Children's. It is Bookworm by Lewis and Irene. I think they gave me two of those as well. It is like a, a very like light pink background with some words on it. And here's the second one. And finally, we have uh, the Blenders, which is Sunprint Luminance by Allison Glass for Andover Fabrics. And I think they gave me four of those because they know me. <laughs> Here's the first one. And the second one. And here's the third one. And the fourth one. And there we go. I mean, I don't know, but I'm thinking I'm, you know, 12 for 12. I think I got them all right. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so if I take them in that order and pop them back in the little box. There they are. My lovely fabrics for this month. Um, okay, so now we are going to move on. I have um, the Sweetwater, and this is the new one. So inked is, no, tagged is the old one, which is the one where you get um, personalized labels. And this one is ink. And these are not personalized. These you get quarterly, and they are by season. So let's get this one open. And I love how they come in this lovely folder, right? And on the back, it gives you the instructions. And let's see. Okay, so it tells you what they are. And there are some free downloadable patterns if you want them. And here are, oh my gosh, I'm loving them. We got two sheets. Oh my goodness, I love them. These are the labels that we got this quarter. And so again, these are not personalized. They are seasonal. And here's the second page. I love their colors, oh my goodness. This is so event. And also you can write, oops, sorry. You can write on these labels. Just get, um, you know, an archival pen and you should be fine. Okay, so that's the ink for this quarter. Let me push that over there. And then, um, let's see. Okay, so this one is uh, cotton and twine. It is another um, cross stitch box. This one comes from the UK and you get like everything you need. Like you even get a frame in here. So let me get this baby open <laughs> and we'll check out what's inside. And I think it'll let me tear it across. Let me see. They've got tape across it, so I'm trying to... There we go. Okay. So here it is inside. Some lovely wax paper with a gorgeous design on it. So pretty. Okay. Oh, it kind of like sticks to itself. Very nice. And here is our pattern for this month, for January. 
and it says friends make life a little sweeter i love that and so inside you do get um, the pattern and all of the instructions um, to help you if you need help there are um, they always give us a little candy or some candy kittens i'm gonna try one i, I know i'm crazy but i don't know i want to try one and I know they're kittens, but okay, so this, it's like soft and, oh, it's like a little gummy. I love it. Agnes and Cat Prosecco. Look how adorable this is. Oh my gosh, I want to eat that whole pack right now. It's a lip balm. Okay, I am remembering this because I saw Christy open this box. And she didn't eat the candy, so I had to eat it. Okay, it's a nice light scent. I'm excited about that, and I love their packaging. Holy cow. I love this. This is adorable. And it's got a little, a little clip. <coughs> Get some coffee. <laughs> like went down the wrong pipe okay and then on the inside of this little bag i love their bags aren't they cute look on the back east of india is the brand um okay so they always give us 16 count ada that's tiny y'all that's tiny I, I i might try it it's just oh my goodness like i'm already blind right um and here is our floss. And so we you get everything you need in there. I, I don't remember if they give us a needle. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but I, I just don't remember. Um, and they also send a frame for you to put your finished project in. And a little thing of tea. So there you go. Um, it's very English. Okay, so that's that box. So super cute. I'm going to keep those little kittens out because, you know, I'm going to eat that within, like, no time at all. So let me put the box back down. Gosh, this their box is, like, so intricate. Okay, and now I have um, another <laughs> Liberty Fabric League. This is the one from the month before. So when we get our um, pattern inside, it's going to be for month three. And let me just open this. All right, I'm scooching the fabric out. And, oh, we got a biscotti. Love those. And we have some clover black gold needles for applique or sharps. It's a number nine. And there they are. And then we have this little tin. And it's a magnetic tin. It says, enjoy the little things. So you can put your needles in there and it'll keep them, uh, they won't go rolling around or nothing. They'll just come right, hold them right down onto there. Um, and then we have Liberty Fabric League. Oh, from Orphil. Five small spools. Um, we have 480 weight. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. 450 weight. And then 180 weight. And uh, if you like the colors, they're on the back of the box. So that if you want to reorder them later, they are back there. And let's just take a gander. Oh, how cute. And there they are on the inside. And I'm sure Julie got to pick her own uh, colors. So that's usually how they'll do whenever they curate something for um, box owners, which is really great. And here is uh, seasons number three. Like I said, this is the one from the month before. And then all of the little templates are inside this little bag. Okay, so 
Let me just scooch this stuff inside here. And then I'll show you the fabric. <laughs> Which is what we're all waiting to see, right? I love her extras though. Oh my goodness, always great. So here's our fabric. It's all tied up in a lovely bow. And let's open the first one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Number one. Number two. Little tiny flowers. Number three. Oh, how pretty. Number four. It's gorgeous. Look at all the little designs inside. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. Look at that blue. It's like a little blue bundle. There's like something going on outside. Not my house, but down on the street over there. I don't want anybody to think that anything was coming here. There's nobody coming here, but yeah, that was loud love that one. Okay, so now the next package. And there we go. Ooh, this one's pretty. Very nice. And here's this guy. And this one. This is number 10. And number 11. And number 12. Okie dokie. Let me scooch that over and put it right there to put them all together. And then I have one more box. And this one uh, is the little box of figs. It always comes in a medium flat rate box. And I think this might be the last one um, for this season. If I'm not mistaken. Little Box of Figs 2021, box number four. Yes, this is the last one. Um, this is the Valentine's box. It says, hello, my fig tree friends. Welcome to your fourth and final box for your 2021 subscription. What a wonderful little box year it has been. I hope you enjoy this little heart project, simple enough to whip up before everyone's favorite heart holiday, or choose a more multicolor option and use all year round. From the bottom of my heart, thanks for joining us for this year's Little Box Adventure. Here's to a wonderful 2022 Joanna. And then there's the whole list of everything that's inside. So let's start pulling this out. Um, this is a pattern. It's called Charm Pack Hearts. That is super cute. I would love to make that. And she's right. You could, you know, you could use um, different colors and make it um, where it's still hearts, like X's and O's, but, you know, it wouldn't be specifically Valentine's, you know. And then there is a patchwork heart pop tart sachet. And there's a little template for it down here. And very simple instructions on making little sachets. And let's see. Here's our little box. There it is inside. And they put it in here so that it stays nice and uh all put together it doesn't get all squished or anything like that okay we have a clover retractable seam ripper i remember whenever these came out it just seems like a great idea as nobody's getting poked with the the thing and and it's pretty it's a nice blue color and then we have a little house now these are um some glass head pens and you put them inside this little house and very cute we have a little tin, and it looks like it's a paper and cloth tin. Nice size to keep 
little things in. And here's a, a little sachet. It's lavender. So if you make one sachet, you can put this lavender in there. We have a uh, fresh fig favorites mini charm pack. And we have a regular charm pack. And then we also have um, some different um, pieces of yardage to use. And this is going to be with the main pattern. And that's at the bottom, I think. So, oh no, that's, it's probably the heart thing. Yeah, I think it's the heart pattern. And then, oh, we've got this cute gingham. And a flower print. And some fig tree cream. And then we have a couple of stickers if you want to put them on your box. And then there is a little notepad. <laughs> so you could um, write little notes on there. And there's a whole little pad for you to use. Okay, so if I can put this back in here. And then I will um, show you all of the fabrics that are in the Fresh Fig Favorites. Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit. It ain't budging. So I'll have to just pull down what I can. Um, so there we go. And the, the thing with Fig Tree is there's lots of different um, patterns. So there are usually not very many repeats, if at all. That's a white, on, like a tone on tone white. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have 42 different. Oh, no, look, that's a repeat. Boop, boop. <laughs> and it's like the patterns will be the same, but the colors are different. It looks like the dots we will have two of. And like I said, this is the Fresh Fig Favorites. So these will be um, colors and patterns that are pulled from previous fig tree lines. So these are all the favorite ones that everybody um, just loved. Now we're getting to the oranges and now the greens. And now we're into the reds. And now the, this is, I don't know, I don't think it's really black. Well, maybe it is, actually. Yeah. And it's the last one. So there you go. Those are all of the fabrics that are in the Fresh Fig Favorites. And that is the box, the last box for the Little Box of Figs 2021. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me open all of these boxes. And uh, I'm going to put all the information that you need down below. And gosh, I hope to see you guys in future videos. I'm going to try to do more videos with um, sewing and that's that's my goal to do more sewing with you guys and who knows maybe i'll even uh expand into more lives i'm not sure but um have a great evening and i'll see you in the next video Mwah.